Space Coast Daily sat down with Michael Lloyd, who is running for the Port Canaveral Commission District 2. Well, Space Coast Daily is here with uh, Michael Lloyd. Michael is running for uh, the seat with the, uh, at the Port Commission. Hank Evans has uh, decided not to run, and so Micah is running for that seat. Micah, you're a businessman. You've got a highly successful constructing company here in Titusville. Tell us about yourself and why you've chosen to enter the race for the port. Uh, well, I'm Micah Lloyd. I've been in uh, Titusville just about all my life. Uh, my father started uh, the construction company in 1980. And um, after, after I went to college, I came down and, and have been working uh, building building Titusville ever since, building North Brevard, uh, done some work even down in, in uh, Indian River County and the surrounding regional areas. So uh, construction is the business that I know. Uh, I've also been in real estate. Um, so we've been here a long time. We, we know the business community here and uh, we really uh, have a passion. I really have a passion for the business community uh, in Brevard and specifically uh, uh, Port Canaveral. Sure. What's your vision for the port? You, you understand the port, you've lived here a long time, your family's been here. You know, how do you see the port uh, uh, interacting with the community and, and, the, and the vision for the future for the port? Uh, port Canaveral is, is a huge economic engine, I think, for our area. And it's very important that we protect that and that it, uh, it, it serves the citizens well. Uh, we all want to have good jobs. We want to have a uh, a sustainable uh, resource and service there at the port, something we can enjoy um, and something that that um, really serves our community well. So I think I think I can lead the uh, lead the port and and hopefully for a long time if I'm elected. Now you've been very involved in Titusville with the Chamber of Commerce and, and events up in this neck of the woods. Uh, your family's been here a long time in business. You built buildings here. Uh, going forward at the port, um, do you have any particular vision for uh, uh, long-term vision for cruise and cargo, and and what would be your what would you bring to the table to the commission in that regard? Uh, well, obviously, cruise is a very important part of the port. Uh, it's their biggest revenue generator, um, so I think it's very important we protect cruise. Uh, cargo kind of helps balance out the business model that uh, that we have. I think that uh, with all the threats we have with terrorism and, and some of the different things that could help the cruise line or, or hurt the cruise line and uh, affect revenue, um, if that takes a dip, cargo does help balance that out. So I think it's important we do diversify our business plan. Um, as far as the, the rail, uh, the cargo to rail, uh, obviously the best choice for that is using the existing infrastructure and going uh, through the uh, the Air Force Station, up through the Space Center, and, and across the existing bridge in Titusville. Now, I see lagoon is a is a very hot topic. People are concerned about the lagoon. How do you see the port's role vis-a-vis uh, -vis the lagoon? Um, the Indian River Lagoon is very important to our area, obviously, and I, I live on the Indian River, and so it's it's my front yard. So um, we all want to protect it. We all want it to be doing better than what it is now. And it has declined in the last couple of years, uh, specifically more than it has in the past. So um, I think the port is going to play a role in that. Um, it's taken 50 years to get to where we are now um, with the stormwater runoff and the different things that we've created uh, up and down the Brevard County coast. Uh, I think it's going to be very important to work with uh, state money federal money, Brevard County money, and port money, and, uh, and, and we all come together and find out what the, the best conclusion is. Um, obviously, there's a lot of, of studies that need to be done before we uh, do something like open locks or things like that. So um, there's a lot of um, ideas out there, and I think studying it and understanding the effects of what we're going to do before we do it is important. Very good. And one last question for you today, Micah, is uh, Brevard County voters are going to have a choice uh, between you and uh, Glenn Willis for this seat. What do you bring to the table vis-a-vis uh, -vis, uh, this, this particular district? And why should the voters choose Micah Lloyd versus Glenn Willis? Well, I, I think that I have a passion for small business and, 
and I have a, a proven record of relationships here in Brevard County, uh, n not just in government, but in, in the private sector. And so we, we've been able to work with people for a long, long time, uh, and any, any type of people, um, and, and we care about the community. Uh, I care about the community. So, um, you know, I think I have, I, I have a, a, an edge over my opponent just in the fact that we've, I've been here for so long and, and, and done a lot of, uh, good things in the community and, and I want the port to be, uh, all it can be. Very good. Well, thank you very much for your time, Micah, and the best of luck. All right. Thank you.